Okay, Tony Emperor, check time. Oh, yeah, baby. It is on like Donkey Kong. There's a bunch of caterpillars in this container, and this is what it begins to look like when you have growing caterpillars, guys. These guys are second molting into third instar, and things are going to get out of hand really, really quick in this container. As you can see, there's a lot of frass on the bottom. They're starting to go through these leaves up here pretty rapidly. I mean, we've got, there's a lot of caterpillars in this container. So what I'm going to do, I am going to upgrade these guys, I believe. I'm going to upgrade them to a, uh, a bigger container. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like here in a minute. Oh, they're so cute. They're like little teddy bears. So our Tony Emperors are healthy and growing. And these guys are molting into what I believe is fourth instar. So what I want to show you guys is real quick. These are Tony Emperor Caterpillars, Astrocampa, Clayton, Flora. And they are heavily gregarious. As you can see, there's a whole mess of them here on these leaves. And these are already molted into what I believe is fourth instar. And But what I want to show you guys on this leaf right here is these caterpillars are literally about to shed their skin and grow into the next instar. Um, these three right here are about to molt. In fact, the the second, or I'm sorry, the third instar head capsule shell is out in front there. And in the molt stage, you can see all of the, on the leaf that they are resting on, you can see all of the silk strands that have been woven onto the leaf. And that's how they hold on. And that's why when a caterpillar is in the middle of its molt, it's very, very risky to touch or disturb it because it's holding on just onto these little silk threads, but its skin is its skin is in a process of splitting and it's, it's not a really good, um, doesn't have a lot of st structural integrity at that point. So when they're molting, you gotta leave them alone until they go ahead and shed their skin their, their new skin then hardens, and then after like six or eight hours, then they can start crawling around and start feeding again. But this entire day is going to be spent chilling like this. So now what will happen is you, you can see the new head capsule coming in behind the old. And so you, the, 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 the third instar head capsule is the smaller little bubble out in the front. That's just a a shell that used to be the skin of the head. The new head capsule is coming in behind and will wind up breaking through the skin and that skin will shed and peel down uh, on top of the body. Now, the new head capsule, these are the older brothers and sisters. The fourth instar head capsule has got all these spines on it and is black and white. You can see the difference between the uh, third and fourth instar head capsules. So I think that's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like um, when a butterfly caterpillar is going to molt into its next instar. So um, in a, about a, probably in about 20, 30 minutes, these guys will go ahead and molt and begin their journey into the next stage of their caterpillar life. All right, guys, we're going to feed our tawny emperors. We've got a couple hundred tawny emperor caterpillars. This is exciting, isn't it? It is pretty exciting, yeah. It's fun. This is my buddy, Lorenzo. This is my son. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are doing this breeding project together, breeding tawny emperors by the hundreds. So one of the important things you got to do is when you're breeding butterflies on large scale, you got to, first of all, know what the host plant is. You got to know where to get it. And you got to know where to get it in large quantities. And then when you get it, you got to be able to take care of it so that it, the caterpillars remain healthy. So in this case, this is 
Celtus tree. This is hackberry. And what we're going to do is we've got probably 250 to 300 caterpillars that are in third and fourth instar. And they're eating like crazy. And so it's time to change them all out, change out all the leaves. We've got to make sure that they keep nice, fresh leaves. Hackberry, guys, is a plant that it, there's no problem finding enough leaves. But the problem with the stuff is that the leaves the leaves dry out really, really quickly. They don't have a very big waxy covering on the leaf. So when you cut it, it actually dries out quickly. I'm in the middle of nowhere, and for some reason, there's a, there's a motor. Somebody's running some kind of machine over here. So I don't know why that's there, but... Um, so we're gonna cut some hackberry leaves, and we're gonna put it in water, and we're gonna feed all of our caterpillars today. All right, so what we're gonna do, buddy, we're gonna look for stems that are really nice and healthy looking. Nope. Yeah, so, so the leaves here, they look really good. All right, now I want you to cut cut this down right by there. Um, a lot of these leaves look like they've been, they don't look very healthy, it's weird. I'm not exactly even sure how to feel about this here. Film? Film. That one looks good. You gotta make sure you shake it out real good. Make sure if there's any spiders on the plant that you shake them off. Do a quick sweep and make sure because the last thing you want to do is introduce spiders. Look, there's a little web right there. We always just snip those off in case we, in case there's a spider inside. Now that looks pretty good. The leaves look healthy. Uh, they're not really new growth, but at this stage, the caterpillars don't need really the newest of growth. Um, but we're gonna need a whole lot more than that. So we're gonna come back up here. All right, guys, so one more shake out. Make sure that there's no spiders. That's enough to feed our caterpillars for probably two days. Uh, so we'll be back here again in two days to get more plant bike. Here, let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, I got a bucket with water. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to put the stems in the water. And then... This stuff will dry out even though it's in water, so you gotta cover it. That's why I bring a garbage bag. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this if we can. <laughs> Easier said than done, maybe. Bingo. There we go. Now we'll put this in the truck. We'll go home and feed our caterpillars. All right, guys. So we have um, this huge container full of Tawny Emperor caterpillars. And they're starting to get bigger. And one of the things that we've got to be careful of with the hackberry plant is as it grows bigger, as the plant um, matures... It, it looks like it's good. It looks like it's healthy, but the plant actually can actually dry out. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that the plant doesn't dry out because if our caterpillars go one day without good food, we can have a complete loss. And so as you can see, these caterpillars are starting to get pretty big. That guy's fourth instar for sure. Looks like they got one more instar to go and then they'll be final. And I can't wait to show you uh, the rest of the life cycle of the Tony Emperor. But Guys, we've got to take all this out because this food has been in here for about, this is the fifth day. That's not good. So we've cut new food today. We're going to take all this out. We've got to remove all the caterpillars from this, uh, from this mess right here. And then we're going to put new food, clean the container, put new food, and then put them all back in. So let's get started. All right. As you can see here, guys, we're starting to get larger. These guys died, right? Huh? This guy's dead, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. 
There might be a spider in there somewhere. I'm not sure what's going on there. But we got a lot of healthy looking caterpillars here, guys. Check that out. These guys are fourth in star. A little bit more dead. A lot of them? Two more dead. Really? So Lorenzo just found four dead caterpillars. Um, I'm not sure what's going on in that stem over there, but this is what it's supposed to look like, guys. They're finished. Yeah, so we got a lot of caterpillars on this one limb. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll cut all the leaves that don't have caterpillars off, and then we'll put this whole twig with all the caterpillars, just rest it on top of the new leaves so that they can just crawl right off of this one onto the new one. So I'm going to get on to that. Are those all right. final instar? These are fourth instar, I believe. So I'm going to do a, short, a really quick count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So on this twig right here, there's 61 caterpillars plus whatever else we got in here. Probably like another 100. Yeah, there's another 60 or 70 there. Is there anything else left on this? No. You sure? Positive. Positive? Okay, so we can pretty confidently... Oh, except that big one right there. Except that big one. Yes, except that big one. Multiple eyes are very good when you're doing something like this. Oh, you threw one out. Oh, I, did, I didn't throw them out. Almost. No, no, no. Don't blame that on me. We were going to go through this again. Um, yeah, and we still haven't gone through all of this yet. Let's do it. Yeah, we're, we're going to get there. All right, folks, we now have our container full of freshly cut um, hackberry cuttings, right? So all this is fresh, just got cut a couple hours ago. Now the, the whole trick is these. this plate has all of our caterpillars on it, probably a couple hundred. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them in and around on top. You can help me out, son. Nice and easy. Okay. Yeah, just place it right in the middle so that they can just crawl and make their way onto um, the new leaves all on their own. Try and put them in different spots. Yeah, okay, these guys we can probably. Dump in. Yeah, I like that. So, um, guys, we just changed our Tawny Emperor container. They got all new food. Hopefully, there's no spiders that made it in there with them. Uh, our, our caterpillars are fourth in star, probably going on final. And um, in the next couple of days, all well, these guys are a little bit smaller. But in the next couple of days, we're going to have final in star caterpillars. And they're going to start eating like crazy. They uh, already do. They already do, but they're still small. They're going to get a little bit bigger. And once How they get bigger? once they get bigger, he, they're going to get another double this guy's size. Oh, wow. So once they get double this guy's size. Like that size, kind of? Yeah, he, these guys are fourth instar. So they're going to get another. So why are fourth instars sometimes bigger than other fourth instars, you know? What do you mean? Like, yeah, like this guy right here, I'm pretty sure he's fourth instar. If that guy and that guy are both four stars, why is this guy bigger? Because when they start eating, they start filling filling out their their little skin, mm. and once their skin fills with food, then they molt into the next instar. See so when he when he swings his head back and forth, you know what he's doing? Looking for food. Nope, he's laying down silk. That would never. Be. He lays down silk, and then that's the silk is what they hold on to when they crawl around. So, anyway, that does it for these guys. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We are gonna make sure that these guys are nice and concealed here, and we'll be changing these out. We'll show you the entire life cycle as time goes. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe till next time. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida, and find us and rear us some cool bugs like Tony Emperors. Ciao.